Our most popular question during the summertime is where are your restrooms? They're one of the only public restrooms in Gardner. Fun fact, last summer from May to October we had over 90,000 people come through our visitor center which was about triple the visitation we had compared to 2020 so it was uh, quite fun. <laughs> In 2021, the park set a record-breaking visitation. They had over 4 million people visit. And through the north entrance gate, oh, a little over a million people came through here. So when you compare that to a town that has about approximately 900 year-round residents, that's uh, quite substantial. And so housing is quite a challenge in Gardner. Um, you know, uh, you have a lot of National Park Service employees as well as people that work in our restaurants and uh, at our supermarket that want to live here year-round. But a lot of people can't afford to buy a house here. So that then in turn they leave and Gardner is not alone. Um, even fellow Gateway communities around Yellowstone, I know they're experiencing the same sort of challenges that Gardner does, um, but there's other national parks that are definitely feeling the same effects. Just like our national parks, we need to also take care of the communities that border them. I am extremely proud that at a national level this is being recognized. To have somebody recognize, you know, our challenges and then propel that forward is, is amazing and is, yeah, especially coming from Montana.